Well, hello to all the divine feminines out there, or the divine masculines who may be cross-watching for the divine feminines. We're going to get your energies for the time period of July 27th to August 2nd, 2020. I had to stop and think about that before I started recording. I'm like, wait, what, what's today? What, what's the time period I'm waiting for? I do a little concentration exercise before I started. Okay, let's get rolling. Let's get rolling, divine feminines. I hope everyone's doing well. I don't know if anyone's feeling, I'm in kind of a <clears throat> low vibration energy, and if anybody else is in that same type of energy right now, let's see what we can do on our journey here to help fix that, possibly. The High Priestess, nice, nice. So, I'm already feeling off the bat. We're in the dark about something. Something is not clear to us. So, Spirit is asking us to tune into our internal selves, our higher, our higher um, being, if you will, which would be our intuition, our internal, not pay attention to the external forces. And the High Priestess is an energy of um, something may be being revealed uh, very soon. All right. So, let's see what energies we have here. Four. <gasps> Four of Wands. Well, look at that, Divine Feminines or Divine Masculines. That's your Twin Flame cat. <laughs> so, but with this card, though, even if um, putting Twin Flame aside, with the Four of Wands, especially in this particular deck, is saying that you still have some growing to do. And it's going to take, step by step, you're going to get there. This is kind of like where you, you want to be. The high, high vibration, there's the light, you see it. You know it's there. You're just trying to figure out how to get from here to there. It may look apparent from the picture, right? It may look like, well, there's grass. You're just going like, no, no, no. You don't know. Those steps could go, woo, woo, woo. There are, excuse me, things. I just chugged some coffee. You just, uh, cheers, iced coffee. <laughs> uh, there are some still some things. It's a time of celebration, okay? So you have chosen uh, what you want to do, possibly, and you've been waiting for some sort of sign, some sort of, you know, something to change, and the change is coming. With the High Priestess and the Four of Wands, the change is coming. You can see it, you know, or you can feel it. Um, look at that, moving away from those rough waters to calm waters. You are moving away from the negative energy or the lower vibration part of your existence right now, which is a little encouraging for me. I hope that resonates for me also. I'd like to think it would. Moving on, we have the Eight of Wands. Moving forward, look at that, with the Six of Swords moving away from something, still moving forward, Eight of Wands. Uh, could be some sort of communication, could be actually physically moving. Maybe you're moving from a whole, wherever you live now, to a whole different place. I know a handful of people that are on twin, uh, not twin flame, oh yeah, twin flame journeys, twin flame connections, that have done that. The world, wow, twin, twins, my twins, my twins, my divine feminines. The world is the end of a cycle. You've done it. <laughs> You've done some internal work. You've listened to your intuition. You've listened to spirit. You've paid attention to the signs. Now it's it's the it's the end of that cycle, and now it's time to move forward. This is beautiful. Now this is things that may be possible obstacles, maybe things you might need to work on moving forward. The devil. Well, look at that devil energy with seven of swords. Wow! I just saw this in another reading, and it was it was incredible because. Uh, it was like, it was the devil with the seven of swords in reverse, and it was all about deception. So, you need to maybe work away from those, whether it's your twin, or whomever may be in your life right now, um, that is toxic, lying to you, deceiving you. Uh, maybe your twin is not being forthright. Maybe your twin isn't being honest. And do keep in mind, Divine Feminines, we each have our own journey to be on. It's all about divine timing. And your twin may very well, the Divine Masculine, may have things he needs to work on. He or she. These are not gender specific. Okay? I'm sure most of you know that, if not all of you. But these are not gender specific. It doesn't matter what your, your physical gender is. Uh, the Divine Feminine is just an energy as, as Divine Masculine. You could be a male and resonate with feminine energy and vice versa. Okay? So whomever your person is, whomever you're thinking of, when you see the devil and the seven of swords, when you hear the word deception, it, whether it's your twin, and it could be, but you're going to have to, but that doesn't necessarily mean it is. This is just things you may need to work through as you're moving forward now. This new phase of your life, you're going to have to weed out those people who are not good for you, 
toxic energy and um, are just deceiving you or if there are people in your life now in order to move forward you're going to have to weed those people out because those people are just going to hold you back all right they're going to keep you at a lower vibration you know misery loves company you ever hear that saying well that's you know they may not be at a point where they're moving forward uh, the people in your life okay or your twin all right, Knight of Wands, I call that the Fast and Furious card, moving forward with the King of Pentacles. Well, look at this. Now, this is masculine energy, which is quite interesting, moving forward. Um, so, Divine Feminines, this could mean two different things. This could be mean, this could mean at this point, Divine, uh, divine Feminines, sorry, that you need, sorry, I'm going to need some coffee. That you need to tap into your masculine energy now. Now you've worked with your feminine energy here with the high priestess, and over here and the four of wands. I I feel with the high priestess that um, something you were in the dark about you will no longer be. Now maybe you haven't worked through this yet, and it's still a process because you know this is the energy is for uh, energy is fluid, so this doesn't necessarily have to happen between the tw what did I say it was the twenty seventh through the second. That's just the energies. So everybody's on their own different individual journeys. With the Knight of Wands, however, it's interesting because I'm looking at the two together. I don't know all of that. I don't know if you can see this. Okay. It's almost as if the Knight of Wands is moving away from the King of Pentacles. It's almost as if what you thought you wanted isn't really what you wanted. Or what you thought was good for you, what you wanted at this time, you realize this is not the best time for that. And you're moving away from it. The King of Pentacles is the energy of been there, done that. But he's very focused on this particular pentacle. This is what I want. And I put the work in. And this is what I'm waiting for. However, with the Knight of Wands going in the opposite direction. Now, different decks are different. Sometimes, mm, sometimes the, um, sometimes the, uh, sorry, the <laughs> Knight of Wands is moving this way. So with this particular deck, it's almost as if you had an energy where you were in a hurry to get where you were going, but you're not anymore. You've adopted the King of Pentacles energy where you either aren't wanting what you thought you wanted. You know, now it's changed. Oh, we're going to clarify some of these. Um, here, there's a Sukhan right? It came out again. Um, oh, I forgot to look at this. Let me just look what was under the... The Hierophant. This is divinely guided. Spirit is directing you in the direction what you was a mystery spirit is now going to direct you in the direction you need to go okay judgment card very nice i didn't quite finish my thought here but we'll get back to that um the judgment card i don't want to run out of time on my phone just just making sure i can get through this without being cut off uh judgment card um yeah still working through that is looking back on your life looking back on your past it's an aha moment you've, you if you haven't had you will be having that aha moment where you realize that you know how they say everything happens for a reason it all becomes clear to you now with the high priestess everything is now coming crystal clear to you now that you know, those feelings you may have had in your in your gut you're like aha i knew it you're taking control uh with the emperor card you're taking control of kind of like i'm gonna say your path Oh, look ye here, my loves. I'm trying to get the cards out. They're stuck. All right. Hold on. There we go. You may have... Sorry. Moving forward, you may still have... Lord have mercy. I don't like messy cats. You may still have some um, battles, okay? Um, so you may have to wait here and there on your journey to... Uh, to work through that so you can get through what you need to get through to move forward, okay? Again, it's all just a process. It's not about the destination. It's about the journey. So you will get to your destination. It just takes time. The world clarifying the world. So when you get to the same card, that's what you really need to focus on, the main energies in a reading. And you have the world clarifying the world, which means it's fair to say that is the end of the cycle now. Now it's time for a whole new beginning, a new leap of faith, okay? Again, the emperor. So divine feminines, you are taking control of the aspects of your life now that you can handle, that you can control. And you're saying, you know what? I can control my destiny. I can help uh, implement where I want to be. There's the Ten of Cups. 
so when you when you get rid of that toxic energy and um, those people in your life that may that constantly deceive you, that's when you're going to find your ultimate um, emotional fulfillment. You're learning a lot through this process with the Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands and the King of Pentacles. The masculine energy I was talking about. Oh, Lord. I really wish all these cards wouldn't come out. Because it's, it takes time for me to go through them. Which is fine, but my phone doesn't seem to like it. Um, <laughs> uh, three of Wands. Now is a time of just waiting. Waiting. There's the justice. All the evidence is going to come crystal clear now. It's going to become clear to you now. That what happened in your past happened for a reason. And again, being in the dark. But you will be enlightened. You are going to be enlightened and move forward. Wow. You're going to be enlightened and move forward, Divine Feminines. This is beautiful energy. How much time do we have here? Oh, we're, we're not too bad. Um, I'm sorry. I don't mean to whiz through these. I mean, because I, don't, I only have so much room on my phone. And it cuts me off. And it's not much space. And I can't figure out what's wrong. I still can't figure it out. I've done everything I possibly can. I've taken every app I could possibly think of off. I don't know what's going on. Um, <clears throat> anyways. Um, so, Divine Feminines. You're working from being in the dark to moving forward. You may have a little bit of bumps in the road here and there. That's to be expected. Nothing's ever perfect, right? But this is the end of whatever you've been going through, the end of the cycle, as long as you take that leap of faith. Spirit is saying, <clears throat> take that leap of faith. Get away from anyone who's toxic and is not serving you in your life, that's, that's making your life, um, you know, in a lower vib vibration. You know, let them work through what they need to work through. You don't have to cut them out completely. But just let them do their own thing and you can do yours. And you will find emotional fulfillment that way. And you're moving away from uh, wanting to move forward faster than you actually need to. Either you're moving away from something you thought you wanted, which is what I'm hearing very strongly, actually. And now you're waiting to... S oh, no. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'll wrap it up here. Now you're waiting, because it's almost done. Now you're waiting to uh, just check out the evidence of what didn't work. And now moving forward, you're going to see. You're going to be enlightened. All right, Divine Feminines. Whew, that's rough when you have to speed like that. <laughs> um, so anyways, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Please do comment down below if this resonated. Do subscribe and join the tribe if you haven't already. And come join me on Instagram, Facebook, going live there. So, okay? And you are moving forward, Divine Feminines. All right, so, oh, look, just very quickly. Woohoo! another twin flame cat. Same. Four wands. Yeah. There it is, my beautiful Divine Feminines. All right, thank you all so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope you will join me again. If you're interested in your Divine Masculine, check it out. The reading is being uploaded. It's probably a few hours after this one. I give space in between so people can see it, and then they can reflect on it. And then so, and look, if you're not subscribed, hit that bell button so you'll know when the Divine Masculine is uploaded. But it's uploaded on the same day. So check for it a few hours from now. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. Peace out.